What's up, what's up, what's up, guys? It is John Ross, aka Watch JR Go, and it's Saturday. Headed to another Midwest Drivers Club meeting. Hopping on El Duco. Let's party. It is 61 degrees outside, as always with my daily weather update. It's supposed to be 68 though, so I'm gonna hold out hope. And my hope is that that comes soon. I have so many things to get done today. So uh, El Duco and me are gonna run a bunch of errands too. What's this convertible BMW? Looks like a today. Very long. It must be like 11.53. And I was supposed to be at this meeting at Nudo. Typical, typical. I'm like ultra late because I was getting things ready so I could go run those errands and need ran. Oh, what's up, girl? That's a girl too in an M4? What is this? All right, all right, I gotta go, but that's cool. Not something you see every day. So last time we did this, Rob's Pasta Rocket was supposed to be there, and it was not. This time, I've heard that it is actually here. More than you can afford, pal. Action. Everybody going so slow, foe. All right, there's this freaking box truck up there that is the reason everyone's going so slow. Think we can do it? Ooh, he's snitching. All right, we can do this. Let's do it. At least up this far and then this far. Mike's like, you want to pull the front wheel in third? No, I don't, but I like the part where it floats. <laughs> I actually just wanted to go straight. I wish you had traction control sometimes. Ain't no light dope as me. I'm just so flashy and bright. Little C6 action. Looks like it might be a Z or Grand Sporto. It's a Z, a Z, the Corvette Z06. Even look over. He won't even look over. <laughs> Come on, man. Let's get up here on Kellogg. Take the bait. This guy's one of those typical Corvette drivers that when like there's a race around, he looks straight forward and will not look over no matter what because he doesn't want anything to do with like going fast in a car that it was literally only built to be really good at going fast. It's a good car. What are you doing? <laughs> so we are headed to grab some Mexican food at El Fogato, which is supposed to be like the most authentic of the authenticness. One of my buddies recommended it for uh, lunch. Everybody was like, yeah, that sounds wonderful. And it's funny because we've been eating Mexican for like three or four days straight. Almost every meal. I'm not talking about three or four days straight like we randomly uh, mix it in. I'm talking like consecutive Mexican, 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 Mexican. And it was delicious because I can do that every day of the year. If you're like, yo, J.O., you want Mexican? I'm like, yeah. So first, El Fogato, El Patio, or Fogato. I don't know how to say it. And then uh, Renee's District Secura fell through because they had like a hour long wait. Come on, man. A man's in the USA. A big shock. So I don't know where I'm going. That's always a great start to every conversation. But what I do know is I looked it up on a map. Honestly, I think we're like just about there. Ah, Takira El Fogon. That's it. I think that's it. I spotted it in the old Taco Tico. Hey, there's the fam. Do we have two Ducatis or is one a Triumph Thruxton? Triumph Thruxton, isn't it? It's a Thruxton R. It's not an R. It's an R. All right, we just left lunch. It was a delicious, super authentic. They had the pork on the thing. We got Jacob right here in his Camaro Mustang. Look at this tag. You guys ready to see a tag? And there you go.
Good times, good times, good times, good times. What's up, Katana fam? I was waiting on him. Come on over. Come hang out. How many of these ridiculous Colorados do you think you have sold? It actually looks really good, but they charge like an extra 10 grand or something to put a roll bar and some lights on it. And I think it has uh, bigger tires. So I'm just assuming they sold like seven of them, and this is one of the seven. Trail Boss. It's called the Trail Boss. Call Clay. Calling Clay. Hola. Hey, hey, where you at? I am in the beauty area. Oh, dang it. I gotta come inside? Yeah, bro, this is where, uh, this is how I get all the videos done. Yeah, <laughs> gotta make, gotta make myself beautiful. Uh, it makes sense. I just like a little bit of, uh, what's that stuff you put on to make your face not shiny? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Let me, uh, I'm a... I'm gonna grab the keys and then our, where are you at? Uh, I will just kind of post up right outside the uh, west doors. Uh, I'm on the bike, so. Okay, I'll be out there in a minute. All right, man, I'll see you in a second. Bye. Bye. Well, well, well. Nothing, I'm waiting on Clay to come out. He's picking up some decals for the body shop. I saw, I was like, well, oh, monkey shot on a black F-150. I know who it is. There's the man. Never met Clay? Clay, Darren Morgan from Monkey Shine. All right, no, no problem. Yeah, all right, good seeing you guys. Will do. All right, off to ride some go-karts. Ah, oh, out of gas. Every single day. Hey, what's up, man? Don't wave? Here. Nobody waves over here. What kind of day is it? I, th I thought it was a nice day for everybody to chill and have some fun. But apparently it's a good day for everybody to be smug and not wave at each other. Not smiling. I'm smiling. You know me. Ooh, look at that. The cops are sitting there. They watching. Eastboro cops be like, oh, we heard your clutch, so that was too loud and we wrote you a ticket. Oh, thanks, man. And another one. That's Wichita. Those guys are pretty cool. Oh, a C4 and a C3 in that garage. Corvette Central. I forgot I need gas. Sorry, that was an accident. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Go-karts first, gasoline second. We'll dip across this parking lot. When I dip, you dip, we dip. Put my hand up on your hip. That is a lot of sand. Wowie wowie. This is like the nastiest S4 in this city. He's like pulling out the VIP cards. Oh, it is perfectly set up for me too. It was destiny. Well, you don't have to adjust the straps. Oh, this car feels great. I'm super excited about this. I hope I've set a good time. Okay, no tire warm up. We're going full throttle right out of the gate. There it is. That feels good. I like this. There we go. Follow this guy's line. He's a freaking beast. Ah, oh, that was so slow. Got my front end sliding out. Whoa, front end sliding hard. Man, those guys are fast. No, Monica, dude, 23-0. That's not a 22. It's not good. And the old dude that was really fast, the old manager, he would stay right on the wall and then brake quick and turn in. Yeah, he touches the brake all the way at the end and then just dips in. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. We are still out of gas. 
We're leaving the go-kart track. We got Tommy here. My boy came up from, uh, I think, Winfield. It's a bit of a ride. We might go see a Big Brian's hanging out at the shop. We're just gonna see what's going on and uh, and definitely get that gas. I wonder if the uh, you're out of gas counter keeps going. I bet it doesn't. I think it's like, oh, you're an idiot. Oh, it does. There it is, 8.6. He's bringing that 10R up here. Ah, oh, I love that bike. I think one of the only ones I've ridden is that one that was just a monster with an air shifter and a pro arm and it had everything and I loved it to death. I haven't ridden the short one, but I would ride that thing. I know it's a wheelie monster. That's a good looking 370. Three. Yeah. Oh, it's Shane. Ah, I see. At least they have a track up there. That's nice. Oh, shaking. Yeah, I love it. It's an awesome bike. I was talking about it. Yep, wheelie beast. We're running out of daylight, sun's going down, temperature's dropping, so this is definitely gonna be a down and back, and then I'm gonna go run some more errands in a car this time. Little wheelie, let's see if we can get a little more wheelie out of it. It's crazy doing this in second when on the 675. That's a first gear thing. It probably doesn't in second, but. little bitty wheel pull. This is honestly like my first intentional wheelies on this bike I think. We're making a quick stop to run through Botanica if I can remember how to get in here. Definitely something I'm not good at remembering. Trying to have a little bit of fun. Watch out for the sand zone. front her. I bet you could have gone. Ooh, she was like, I'll go and I'll get in a wreck. Genius. We rocked out those go-karts for a while and now my arms are, let's just say, arm karma? I don't know, whatever you want to call it. My arms are tired. All right, guys, that is it for today. Hopefully I can get this recorded before the batteries die one time. You know what to do. If you like this content, please subscribe. And I will talk to you guys later.